Hello, and welcome to our Singa2 tutorial video for connecting Windows clients to a pre-existing Singa2 master. Let's go over some prerequisites before getting started. First, we require that you have some basic Linux and Windows skills, that you have a pre-configured Singa master running with the appropriate ports opened, and that you have a Windows client stood up with ports 5665 and ICMP open. We also require that you have remote access to both systems, either via RDP, TeamViewer, VLC, SSH, whatever you possibly need. You can optionally get your Isinga Master from our Azure AWS Marketplace images. In this video, we're going to log into our client machine, download and install the Isinga 2 client, then configure it so it's talking to our pre-existing master. Once we've completed those steps and done any configuration that we need for, say, the firewall, we're going to log into the Isinga 2 master, sign the client certificate, create a new host configuration so Isinga knows what to be monitoring on the host, then reload the daemon. At which point we will then go and view the web console to make sure that everything is working appropriately. With that, let's get started. First, we need to install the Isinga 2 client package on our Windows machine. Open our web browser and go to packages.isinga.com and select the Windows subdirectory. Scroll through the options until you find the client version associated with your pre-existing master and ending with the extension of .msi. Once the file is done being downloaded, select Run and follow the on-screen instructions to completely install the Isinga2 client. At the end of the installation, select the checkbox labeled Run Isinga2 Setup Wizard and hit Next to continue. At this point, you're going to want to select the radio option to listen for connections from the master, and you're going to want to select the checkbox to accept commands from the master slash service instances. Then hit the add button and provide the connection info for your master. This should be essentially the IP address and the port number the master is currently running on, as well as a unique identifier for the master. Hit next to continue. Once the Isinga2 setup wizard has completed, there will be a couple of additional steps that need to be completed. First, open up the Windows Advanced Firewall settings and select Inbound Rules. Then scroll through the list of options looking for File and Printer Sharing Echo Request IPv4. In the sidebar menu, hit Enable Rule. This option is required in order to allow ICMP, as in ping requests, to come through to make sure that hosts are up and running. Next, select the Windows icon and select Isinga2 Agent Wizard, and then select the option for Examine Config. Navigate to Etsy Isinga2, Features Enabled, and select the checker file, and delete. This is required to ensure that only the Isinga master is issuing check requests to the Isinga client, and that the client isn't issuing requests upon itself. Now go back a directory, select the Isinga2 configuration file, and open it inside of a local text editor. Then go to the last line indicating include recursive conf.d and comment it out using a double front slash. Save the file, and this will ultimately ensure that no configuration file from the local host is used in place of the master's configuration. Now, open the services submenu and search for the Isinga2 service daemon. The service will need to be restarted in order for the changes that you've made to propagate and ultimately take effect. Select restart in the left submenu. Now we're going to need to make some changes to our Isinga2 master. SSH into the host and open up Etsy Isinga2 and then copy the host.d client w.smscom conf file to host.d whatever the client fqdn is dot conf. Open up the file that you've just created and remove the comments from the top and bottom of the file. Then replace all of the areas where clientw.sms.com is with the fully qualified domain name of the host machine that is your client box. Subsequently, change the host and address variables that are listed with an IP address to whatever the IP address of your client machine is as well. This is required for Isinga to properly make sure that the checks are being propagated against the individual machine and also to know where the host physically is in the future. 
Next, we need to approve of the newly created connection client by signing its connection fingerprint. Type isinga ca list to list the fingerprint of the host, then type isinga 2 ca sign with that fingerprint and hit enter to sign the host so that way future connections can be made automatically. At this point, we need to reload the isinga 2 daemon using systemctl reload isinga 2 at this point, return to the Isinga2 web console and notice the new service checks and hosts that are in pending status. You can either wait for these services and hosts to check in on their own, or you can force a check now by selecting the check now option associated with each service and host. You should eventually receive a response saying that the services are in an OK status and the host is up and running. With that, congratulations, you've set up your first Windows client for Isinga to monitor. If you want to add any additional service or host checks, please refer to the Isinga documentation, contact us at support, or refer to one of our other tutorial videos on our website. Thanks everybody! We hope to see you guys again!